Ooh, I see a fin. He's right here. Holy. Oh, oh, dude. <laughs> Did you see the head on that thing? That's a hog. <laughs> Holy lord. Yeah, I didn't want to jinx you. It's got to be the biggest one I've ever caught. Biggest fish of the year. Hat on. Yep. Oh yeah. Here, I'll get us in. Back out here on Flaming Gorge, looking for big fish. I'm out here with my fiance, Mackenzie, and we're out here with Brian Clum and his new fiance, Tawny Jones. They just got engaged yesterday on the ice after Tawny caught her biggest lake trout, so pretty cool. While we're setting up, we had fish all over us. I caught one real early, first drop. Roll clip. First drop. Mackenzie had one chase her up to like 25 feet. And I dropped down, there were fish all over. We haven't even got set up, haven't got the camera set up. Out here with the clums. Woohoo! Anyway, first drop. I couldn't see the fish anymore. I told Mackenzie I don't know where he is, and then I lifted up my pole and boom, he was on it. Yeah, it was rude. We'll try and get the camera in now. Five pounder, maybe an eater even. <laughs> All right, on the board. And then uh, Mackenzie had a good hit, just trying to get her to where she can figure out, you know, hook sets and stuff that I still screw up on. But when you're watching somebody, you you think you know better than they do. But hey, you get a little crippled. Oh, get him! Yes. Yeah. Stand up. <laughs> He's off. God damn it! This is what I mean by you got to be. Ready to stand and go, honey. It felt good too. My wrist hurts. Damn it! <sighs> Fiddlesticks. Between you and my father, you give me <laughs> like you only get like three bites a day. You know that? Ooh, yeah, he's my favorite. I wish he was here. He likes to fish and hunt the way I like to. Anyway, we're gonna try and put some big fish on the ice. Uh, if we need to move spots, we will. I know that those guys caught one already. I don't know what they're seeing, but we're seeing some good fish. We'll stick it out for a while, but if it starts to get slow, we'll just completely move. We don't have time to really screw around. I mean, they've only got, I guess, one full day left after today, and then that's it. So I like to try as hard as I can to put them on some big fish. And hopefully it happens. Oh, oh, Cunny, that's it. I mean, you got to set the hook right then. Okay, but I'm sorry. That's all he's going to give you. Oh, stealing a hole. He gave you the first chance. I don't think this one's very big either. I thought that was a way bigger mark. Serves you right for stealing the fish. Oh, he's pretty. <laughs> he is pretty, but That's a pretty he one. is tiny for thumping it like that. He's pretty. I'll keep him just to, just because that's the ones they want out of the gorge right there. Got them red fins. Yeah. Yeah, pretty. Just not big and pretty. Come on, he's right on it. Yeah! <gasps> <gasps> well, you gotta get every rainbow you can in your life. Sorry, what was that? What? Ryan's hooked up. Maybe it was a splash. Yeah. Yep. Fish while Trent walking over there to prove that I could do it and on his pole. 
So please, everybody, pray to God to land this fish. <laughs> Well, I saw a fish come in and I said, come on, let me catch this on shrimp pool. Come on. And whammo! It hit this one though? Yes! I picked up your pole because I saw it coming in and I was like, oh, come on, please let me catch this fish on Trent's pole. Please, dear God. Oh! You big? Yeah, I mean... <laughs> no! I was talking to the camera even. <sighs> Dang it! <laughs> was gonna be really cool. <laughs> Did you get the hook, good hook set? Yeah, I mean, I was reeling for. Do I need to watch it? Yeah. Did you see me reeling? Yeah, I just. Damn it! <sighs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> right oh, man. <laughs> I just took off to go see what they were doing. I know. Like in a lot of things outdoors, you just kind of get where you put your time in, and then you just get one, like. Like your owed one? That doesn't exist with lake trout at all. <laughs> it doesn't. You just get your ass kicked. You just, you think you put in enough time and you either don't see one or something like that happens and you think, come on, I've been out here for weeks. <laughs> doesn't matter. <sighs> Nobody cares. I just was like, yes, landed this myself, you know, hooked up to it myself. Yeah. Whew, sweating like a bastard today. Long drag, a little less than a mile, and three inches of snow. And if you use your uh, your jet sled for things besides ice fishing, like dragging in bear baits and packing out elk, um, you got a few holes in them. Collects all the snow, makes it even heavier. It's not the greatest plan, but I'm too cheap to buy any other ones. So that's what I got. Good workout to start the day, that, mixed with spudding this hole. Out here with Brian and Tawny, they throttled the medium-sized fish yesterday. I think they caught like 16 or 17 doing their own thing, their own way that they've they figured out how to fish. It's pretty cool. I, you know, they kind of took my techniques with different baits and made it their own thing and absolutely had a ball yesterday, so it's cool to see. Figured with the stuff they found out and the way I usually fish, you know, we have the opportunity to hopefully have a banner day and figure out exactly what they want. So anyway, that's enough rambling for me. Fish seem active, seen two. Neither one of bit, so the chess match continues. Tell you what, this definitely isn't a typical get fat and eat donuts in the hut kind of ice fishing day. <laughs> Between dragging the hut, spudding the hole, to sprint it over and help Brian catch his personal best laker. What's going on? Not a lot. <laughs> Just got my personal best laker. This thing's a toad. Been out here for the last four days fishing these guys. That's a beautiful fish. We're gonna get him back here real quickly. He's getting cold. Oh. Definitely the fattest one we've got so far this weekend. Come on, buddy. They're on it already. They've already caught three with their method. I'm stuck in my old ways, hunting for a way that I know a big fish will bite. So as hard as it is not to just do what they're doing, I'm glad they figured that out. And I'm thrilled they're having success with it. But I just can't do it. I've worked this long to figure out how to catch big fish and I guess I'm just stubborn. <laughs> All right. 15, I love you, buddy. <laughs> Woo! Yes. Little. 
Que louro! About a cookie cutter, the last one I had. Finally tripping their trigger a little bit. Good looking fish. I've had a bunch of marks come through the last, I don't know, hour, hour and a half. Good marks, just can't, couldn't figure out what they wanted. Let's give them a dump. But finally, I don't know if I figured anything out or one finally just wanted it bad enough. But anyway, not a bad fish. Yeah, man. <laughs> it's awesome. Really got to get a better budget for this show. I know you don't want to see me talk, but uh, actually the one o'clock hour, it's turned on out here. That's when people go home. Looks like everybody but us has went home, um, but finally had on a good fish, a little bit of weight. Um, he never went on a run or anything, but I got him about, I don't know, 20 feet up and was trying to screw with the camera and get it on and he come undone. So this year is starting to feel a whole lot like last year. Those big bites, I miss them or something happens, but it's all part of the fun, I guess. Part of the, part of keeping you grounded, making sure a guy doesn't get too high because a couple years ago I was pretty high on, on the things I was able to do out here and uh, now I, I don't know maybe I'm just getting old and my reaction time ain't what it used to be don't know if you can see the screen just had two or three fish come in this one's a good one just lost one that felt about just like this you got that much there he goes got that much competition usually good things happen I don't know if you can see the screen, but there's fish all over here. Good fish, not a giant. Finally, oh, barely hooked, but a good one. I think the camera's on, not quite sure. Finally a good fish, probably a 10 or 12. Happy with that, especially today. Fun one. The bite's turned on, I've been watching Tawny just knock the hell out of him. Figured it was my turn. Does this look familiar? It should. Third day in a row I've been out here. Basically the same spot, back in the deer stand. Just saw too many fish yesterday to want to move. A few big fish. Couldn't take advantage of some good bites, although I'm not really um, sold that any of them were giants. but. Did see some big fish and I caught eight yesterday, which is one of my better days. All just between like three and, you know, 11 pounds. So back out here again with another buddy, old Chris Shutrin wanted to come out and fish. So he joined me, we came back out. So far we pretty much own the lake. I think there's a couple more trucks out. They're probably two miles from us though, close to it. So anyway. I'm uh, on a little bit of a deeper shelf, and I haven't seen anything yet. I've been fishing for all of five minutes, but it was kind of the same thing yesterday. Um, plums over there were on fish early on a little bit shallower hump, which makes perfect sense. And then uh, as kind of mid-morning hit, they dropped off, and I was seeing a bunch of fish down here and into the afternoon. So I'm not going to fish all day today. It's Monday. I got crap to do, so I'll be off here. I don't know. Noon, one, two o'clock, somewhere around there. I know, boy. Back to doing wind sprints this morning. Whew. Mr. Shutrin is hooked up. 
with what appears to be a good fish. He's been fighting him probably for five minutes already as I've sprinted around. It's about, I don't know, 12 degrees this morning. So. Pretty chilly, but I'll do the dunk for him. How much of that you got? I had about 12 feet before, so oh yeah, there he is. Same. Oh I yeah, dude, color. that's a freaking pig. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. All right, I'll get out of your way. Yeah. <sighs> they always look bigger underwater, but he looked big. Behind you. He's at life and he wants play to play the game now. <laughs> Unbelievable. I hate it when that line goes against the ice. <sighs> Gotta love it. Leader again. Think. These big ones don't like to give up the ghost right here at the hole. We just don't want a horse in No. Nope. Ooh, I see a fin. He's right here. Holy f Oh dude! <laughs> Did you see the head on that thing? Hold on, stay buttoned. Stay buttoned. <laughs> That's a hog. <laughs> Holy lord. Yeah, I didn't want to jinx you. It's got to be the biggest one I've ever caught. I think he's close to 30. Yeah, I think he's over, actually. I mean, well, he did. he's splitting hairs between 28 and 33. You know, what is he? I don't know. But. Yeah. I love even just being a part of these. Yeah. I just hope they, he looked hooked good. Can't tell you for sure. This is a fish. What's your leader? You said. I think they're tw 12 or 15. Uh, That's what I use, 15. Four so. carbon. That's what I was saying, just don't fail me. Come on, buddy, come on. Uh, she's pulled about as much line as I reeled up. I took my son in law out. Well, he caught that 27 pounder on six pound test mono. Yeah, it can so, happen. It's just driving that hook home yeah. with all that stretch. Well, the thing of it is, too, when we slid his fish out of the ice, out of the hole, it spit the jig the second it came out. So, well, you've got to be the luckiest person I've ever met. Come on, buddy. This has to be it. Come on. He's got to be getting tired. Leader again right at the ice. Come on, big dog. Oh, I don't like that leader going through here. those eyes. That scared me you too. I thought he went that way and you were in a groove, but I didn't want to. get lost in the fact of how hard it is to get a big fish through this spot. Like through, you know, a boat, yeah. you can use your net. Right at that leader again. I don't know, I'm gonna try to stay back a little bit. Enjoy it. 
Oh yeah. That's what we're out here for. Yep. Even if this doesn't happen, enjoy it, you know? Oh yeah. Playing and keeps you sane. Stan looking at him with your butt. See him again? It's huge. Oh yeah. That's scary, isn't it? Uh -huh. I almost don't want to go with this braid line anymore because that leader going through the ice scares me. Yeah. Well and people have swivels too and I I don't like having the swivels try. Past your lead now. Yeah, it's coming back through. Mine, we have to. <laughs> He's tired. He's here. He's just. Oh, holy crap! That thing is a monster trip. Right here. Yes, Chris. Oh. It's the biggest fish I've ever seen come through a hole. <laughs> and he's barely, yes. <laughs> barely hooked, but boy, you had it. Oh, my Lord. <laughs> Woo. <laughs> Look at that, baby. I'm soaked. <sighs> Let me, uh. My Lord. That is a monster. Thank you, buddy. You bet. Oh, that's amazing. I'm trying to get late. I'll try to take a picture before I start stripping. Close. This net might not be big enough. That is a that's a monster of a fish. He's all out there. That'll do it. Nope. Twenty. Guess it's not the biggest. Twenty-five. Really? Unless the scale's wrong, but got the heat. It is nice so. fish, oh gosh, man. We got a head on it. We ready? I'm ready. Here you go back, big boy. Thanks for the fight. He's already ready to go. There he goes. Oh my lord. Hell yeah! That was amazing. Time to do it again. Yep. I'll dunk my arm every time for a 25, 30 pound fish. You be the judge on if the scale is wrong. <laughs> I don't know. We've been whining about it for three days now, thinking that these fish are bigger, but that's the reason you weigh them too. Everybody overestimates fish from, you know, freaking bluegill to lake trout. So, always great to bring a scale along. I mean, I, I'd call that fish. 35 pounds but I didn't have a scale and I've seen a handful of them you know but anyway hope that's not it I still need to get one like that on the ice and then this video and uh, <laughs> quite frankly my lake trout season on the ice will be a success so the bites good right now let's hope for more of the same The update on the on the clothes. That one's frozen solid. Oh. 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 Okay. Oh, we missed it. There you go. Oh. temper tantrum. I'm going to. Trent's gonna lose it. So long, can lose it. Well, we know they want to chase it today. That's about all we know. Oh, I do know one other thing. Canyon coolers suck. This is the worst. Fuck. 
Unless you want to sponsor me, then we then I'll take it back. I don't even think they're in business anymore. Wonder why. Chris came over to talk and finally hooked into a decent one. Couldn't get the couldn't get the damn camera to record. But thank you. He's not bad. Not bad. Got a belly, don't he? Yeah. <laughs> he might go. Nine, ten pounds. I'll weigh him real quick. But oddly enough, that's one of my better ones. Yeah. Come out here and tell people what to do, and I can't do it. <laughs> how much sense does that make? Well, that works. Huh? Just how it works sometimes. Yep. It's right at nine. Right at nine. Eight point nine something's when I stop. So anyway, right on. Good looking fish. Yeah. You've got a future, buddy. Big old red fins on him. Got about a nine pounder. You finally did it right. Thank you. Hey, oh yeah, that's a good fish. Just been pandemonium. I just was gonna turn this baby on to get some good footage. Are we even on? Yeah, we're on. Cause it's just been crazy. That's a better fish. Come on, buddy. Come on. Yes, sir. Better fish. Best one of the year. Big old belly on that dude. They're getting bigger and the fish are just on fire. I'm gonna stop with my, you know, I guess you'd call this lazy way. I'm not trying to be lazy. I'm just trying to save battery. It's cold out here. I already dunked myself on Chris's, so I, I haven't really got warm yet. Eleven, yeah, 10.98. We need them double that size. Yeah. I never complain about them. I love you. Thank you. A good one. It's not good enough. Hooked up to a good one. Just had a few better marks come in. They all kind of went away. The one came back and torched it pretty good. This thing doesn't appear to be over that 15 mark, but he's, he's giving me the business. into something here. <laughs> we have to start camping closer. Yeah, I know. It didn't seem that big. Now we Still don't know how big he is, but he, I got him to like 30 and he blew his air and he just took off again. Come on, baby. Can you get this fish finder out of there? Well, I, in a sec, I want, I'd like to see where the hell he's at. Okay. He's down there at 50 something. You gotta lose him. 
Nice. It doesn't appear to be as big as yours. I'll take them. Oh yeah. Okay, here we go. Pull I'd like, that. I'd like to just hook up again. Biggest fish of the year. Put that on. It's coming now, Chris. Here's my leader. Yep. Oh yeah. Here, I'll get us in. Beautiful. Yes. Beautiful. Yes. Nice. Nice. Awesome. <laughs> I love this. A good day, huh? <laughs> Two giants. Come on, baby. Oh, baby. oh finally. Shoot. Finally. Oh yeah. Not, not quite Chris Shutron size, but <laughs> damn good fish. Oh yeah. It might be like 18, but come on. Yeah, it's a cold, moody bastard. Oh, let's try one more. It's 15 is all. 16. 16 and 15.9. Still a good looking fish. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, man. There we go. Almost 16 pounds. 15.9 on my scale that we're doubting, but that's what he is, so fills her up nice. Thanks, buddy. Oh, yes. Thank you for letting me be part of this. You bet. All right, that's it. I'm calling it. I was just telling Brian and Tawny last night that I just needed, you know, one solid fish to tie a bow on the top of this video and I think I got it obviously big thanks to Chris Shutron for allowing me to video him and and knocking an absolute giant today it was fun to watch it was fun to be a part of um can't thank Brian and Tawny enough either I mean they came down here all the way from Washington to put their trust in me and and put them on some good fish and I'm just glad they had such a great time but uh keep this short just thank everybody who who made this possible thanks Mackenzie for coming out and fishing with me one day it's not her favorite thing to do so I always like when she comes out and spends time with me out here but uh, anyway back to my cliche ending hope it was enjoyable see you on the next one